Welcome to Epic Tutorials. My name is Elliot Fitzroy and to celebrate the release of the Epic Guide to iMovie for iOS on Udemy, I'm going to share with you 15 of my favorite power user tips for editing on an iPhone or iPad in 2017. If you really want to master this app, check out the link in the description and I've also left a discount code. And of course, let me know what your favorite iMovie editing techniques are in the comments field below. Enjoy. In the video pane of the media library, you can tap and hold on any video, then drag to quickly scrub through and preview it. To snap the playhead to the beginning of the timeline, tap and hold on the left hand side of the interface. And to move the playhead to the end of the sequence, just tap and hold on the right hand side. To quickly split a clip in the timeline, position the playhead over the frame you want to split, tap once to select it and swipe down. Swipe up over a selected clip to create a freeze frame which lasts for 2 seconds by default. To change the length of the freeze frame, tap the speed icon and the freeze frame will become highlighted, allowing you to drag the start and end points. To remove a freeze frame, tap reset. If you have video files on your computer that you want to quickly transfer to iMovie for editing, launch iTunes and drag and drop your video clips to iMovie under the file sharing pane. Launch iMovie, tap the import icon, then iTunes and tap to import your clips. You can add them to an existing project or copy them to a new one. If you want a consistent look across all your clips in your project, tap the settings cog and select a project filter which will be instantly applied to all current and future clips that are added to your timeline. You can quickly rotate a clip in the viewer in increments of 90 degrees by twisting with two fingers. iMovie for iOS supports 3D Touch on compatible iPhones. Hard press on the iMovie icon to quickly open a project or create a new one. And in the projects browser, you can hard press on a project to preview it and then swipe up to edit, share or delete it. To fade your audio in and out, tap to select a clip, then tap detach to separate the clip's audio onto its own track. Now tap the audio button in the inspector and select fade to reveal the fade handles which can be dragged to adjust the length of the fade. You can reframe a clip by selecting it in the timeline, then tapping the magnifying glass in the viewer. Pinch in and out to zoom and drag to reframe. This technique can be used to make vertically shot video fill the frame. Did you know that iMovie running on an iPhone 6s or later can easily edit 4K DSLR footage? There are two ways to easily import your DSLR video into iMovie either with Apple's SD card reader which will automatically launch the Photos app window when inserted, or using Apple's camera connection kit which allows you to attach your camera via its USB cable, as well as Ethernet adapters, wired keyboards, mics and MIDI keyboards. Once your import is complete, they're ready to be edited in iMovie. Once you have iMovie downloaded on your iOS device, you can make powerful non-destructive edits from right within your Photos app using the iMovie extension. Simply select a video and then tap Edit in the upper right, then tap More Options and if iMovie doesn't appear, just tap More and add it along with any other available video extensions, then tap Done. You can mute the audio, make trims, add filters and animated titles, as well as music from either iMovie's royalty-free theme music library or from your music library. To accept all changes, tap Done in the upper right. As any edits performed using the iMovie extension are non-destructive, you can revert to your original clip by tapping Edit, then revert in the lower right and select Revert to Original. By default, iMovie applies a cross-dissolve transition between clips which can be changed by tapping to select the transition. If you select the theme transition, the transition associated with your currently selected theme will be applied. However, you can choose between seven different themes under settings. After tapping done, the transition is automatically updated. iMovie supports both wireless and wired keyboards via the camera connection kit. Hold the command key down on the iPad to reveal a shortcut list and these will work on the iPhone as well. 
Some handy shortcuts include pressing C to select the clip under the playhead, pressing Command B to split it, and using the left and right arrows to progress one frame at a time for making super fine edits. iMovie for iOS does allow you to export video at 60 frames per second, however by default this option is not enabled. To turn it on, open settings and navigate to iMovie and tap to open. Enable 60fps export and now if you open a project that includes video recorded at 60 frames per second, when you tap share and save video, your native frame rate will be preserved upon export. So there you have it. 15 quick power user tips that I hope will help and of course if you really want to master this app, check out the epic guide to iMovie for iOS on Udemy, there's a link in the description and you can get 25% off the course price by entering the code EPIC2017. As always, thanks a lot for watching, my name is Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.